Next up to present our wild card of the year, please give a warm round of applause to Enrico Ramirez Rees and Jonathan Fortney. Thank you. Uh, we first have to apologize for allowing two scientists to share the stage uh, in this beautiful <laughs> award. Uh, I was extremely lucky to actually be one of the first honorees of the Nexties in 2009, uh, so I'm back. Uh, and of course, at that time, they didn't really have categories, and now they're like, where should we put the scientists that actually revolutionize astronomy and make the biggest discovery in the past decade? Wild card. So. <laughs> We really need a category uh, in the next these awards that is sort of thinker of the year, yeah. scientist of the year. So I'm extremely grateful to have my colleague and dear friend, Jonathan Forney. We're both astronomers at the University of California, Santa Cruz. Ghost logs. Yeah. You know, uh, we teach over a thousand undergraduates a year in the astronomy department, and we really try to instill in our students what we call the cosmic perspective. And that's an appreciation for what the universe is like outside of our planet to really appreciate the planet that we have because it's really a special place in the universe that we live in. And uh, Ryan Foley, in addition to being a fantastic teacher of young minds at UC Santa Cruz, made one of the great discoveries of the 21st century in astronomy, which I think Enrico could tell you a little bit more about. So if you ever wonder where gold and platinum came from in the universe, as you know, Initially, in the Big Bang, hydrogen and helium were created, and then all the elements subsequent to that in the periodic table were actually created in these particularly cosmic explosions. But for the past 30 years, we really didn't have a clue of how very heavy elements like gold and platinum were created. And I particularly devoted my career to do that, and Ryan, just arriving to our department a year ago, actually unlock the mystery of where gold and platinum <laughs> came from. Uh, so in, in some ways he proved, he proved some of the theories that I work right. So it was, it was great that he came to our department. Uh, so Ryan arrived two years ago from a small town in, small town in Illinois. We stole him away we from Illinois away. University. Uh, he was a clean cut young kid and he's really uh, embraced the Santa Cruz lifestyle, which I'm sure you can tell when he gets up here. Uh, so I want to just briefly mention that, so, you know, Ryan was basically responsible for the breakthrough science discovery of the year, Science Magazine. Uh, in that article, there were 10 articles written, and six of them were from Ryan's group. I was lucky enough to be part of his team. Something that is amazing about Ryan is actually all his students and postdocs were first authors in those papers, so he gave a lot of credit to the young people despite him being very young. So we're extremely lucky to have him in our department, and we're extremely happy that you know, Santa Cruz honored you know, the breakthrough of the year as the wild card in the next days. And uh, please introduce the award. Ryan Foley, professor at UC Santa Cruz. Woo! Thank you. I, I, I don't know if you guys can see from the back, but this is actually the award. Uh, it, it, the beer mug's going to be great with the, the undergrads. I'll just put it in my office. Uh, so, uh, so thank you all for, uh, for, for coming here. Uh, I, when I heard I was supposed to be the wild card, I looked that up. It means somebody who's unpredictable and dangerous. I was like, who wants to be that? Um, but, you know, here we are, Friday night, everybody's had a few drinks in them. Who's ready to learn? <laughs> okay, so, uh, so, you know, actually Enrico and Jonathan, who are in my department, we see each other every day, they did a really good job. Um, I'm responsible for all the gold that you have on you, you know, your wedding band, whatever. So, uh, if you want to pay me the royalty at the end of all this, I'll, I'll be out in the lobby. Um, no, so uh, what, what did we do? Um, our, our team, which is really uh, a, a young, small team uh, based at Santa Cruz, uh, we, we just a few months ago, back in August, we, we were able to uh, 
really take advantage of a new way of looking at the universe, where uh, for millennia, we've just been staring out in the sky, seeing the heavens, and it turns out that uh, we, were, we were only able to see one part of that story. Uh, now we can look at the universe through gravitational waves. The actual motion of, of massive objects around us uh, produce ripples in space-time that we can detect. And our group was able to see light from the same things that were, that were making those uh, ripples in space-time. Uh, we did that for the first time. Uh, the first person to see it was sitting in his office at, at UC Santa Cruz. So, uh, so in all the history books, you know, we're, we're going to go down. Uh, and, and really, Santa Cruz is the best place to do this sort of work. Uh, you know, you, you guys, can, you, if you ever look up at that hill, uh, we're so thankful. You really embrace us for being able to uh, do some really innovative and striking things. And at the same time, you know, we, we hope we can give back to the community. Uh, we, we as a university, uh, we, we are a relatively diverse population, and our team was specifically diverse. The majority of our team was either an underrepresented minority or a woman. So we're really proud of that. And so uh, now, you know, when, when I look up at the sky at night, you know, I think about all these stellar collisions and, uh, and things like that. Uh, and when you, when you think about how tranquil it appears, and you realize how, how actually uh, violent the, the universe can be, uh, I think you know, maybe you do need somebody who's a little dangerous, uh, a little unpredictable. Uh, so, uh, so I actually think the, the wild card uh, category works out well. So thank you all.